I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 17th of June. Well, you know it's going to be hot and humid because this is the 17th of June. The question is, will there be convection today? Where? How many? We'll see if we can figure it out today. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots. First off, coming from Birmingham, looking south from the Daniel Building. The sky seems to be clear this morning. We had that cloud cover yesterday morning that kept temperatures from rising above 90. And accordingly, that limited the instability. And accordingly, we didn't see much convection here. But it looks like we'll start the day with uh, sun here. There's the Tuscaloosa sky cam. And again, uh, some clouds on the horizon. But generally speaking, the sky looks clear. And up in Decatur, that's the view there from uh, the banks of the Tennessee River where they did see some big storms up there yesterday. I had some minor flooding issues and strong winds, even some hail in spots. Well, it's the same story, synoptically speaking, upper ridging here across the Deep South. The uh, Got a big trough that will be passing well to the north of here. And uh, some very active convection is likely uh, well to the north in advance of that trough. Uh, this morning, we've got wind advisories and flash flood watches in effect up and through there. And a uh, couple of counties in uh, Idaho and Wyoming under winter weather advisories here in mid-June. Of course, it's up in the high terrain. Look at the moderate risk today. Des Moines, Minneapolis, St. Paul involved in that. Uh, and then down here, the guys at uh, SPC have actually defined a slight risk over the northern third of Alabama for the potential for wet microbursts today. As the soundings tend to favor that, and we'll see. And again, you know, defining this stuff on a summer day, as we all know, is so hard. But uh, they are believing that uh, we could see some localized areas of damaging straight line winds. So we'll be watching the radar today. Tomorrow, slight risk up north. Des Moines, Chicago, Milwaukee. Indianapolis and Detroit, and on day three, which is Saturday, the uh, risk areas are way up north. QPF chart, and how do you figure this one out? You know, I always wonder how, how in the world you draw something like that. There's an axis of heavier rain through Mississippi, an axis of lighter rain through North Alabama, all across the deep south. We'll see the scattered convection every day, making these maps almost impossible to define. The really organized stuff, of course, is up north. Closer to the uh, storm track, 4.7 inches, the bullseye, just across the U.S.-Canadian border up there in uh, Manitoba. Tropics are quiet, and yeah, tropical storm formation not expected in the short term. This is the OZGFS at uh, noon or 1 o'clock today. And again, we got the flat ridge in place. There is a light northwest flow aloft. And any MCS that does form to the north could try and drift down in here. And down below that, some evidence of that, maybe something cranking up over southeast Missouri trying to move in here late today or tonight. But again, you just have to wait until this stuff gets on radar. Uh, tomorrow, hot, muggy, widely scattered storms. There's Saturday, the 594 ring sets up over Texas, so the ridge seems to be a little stronger and again, it would seem like any uh, storm Saturday afternoon should be widely scattered. They'll be out there, sure. Uh, highs, low, maybe mid-90s. And the same thing on Sunday. So really, this weekend could be pretty similar to last weekend. Monday of next week, no reason to vary from the typical summer forecast. There's Tuesday. Moisture seems to be a little deeper. Wednesday of next week and a week from today, Thursday. Uh, we got a northwest flow aloft as the uh, ridge is suppressed a little bit there, and uh, that might suggest the heat comes down a bit with an increase in afternoon showers and storms. But, hey, that's seven days out there, and as we all know, um, weather changes this time of year very hard to identify days in advance, and they're very uh, ill-defined. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 2nd of July. 588 ridge over much of the eastern half of the nation, trough back in the northwest, and soupy air scattered mainly afternoon showers and storms, and again, no evidence of any tropical mischief out there in modeling so far. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. with